One fucked up Jamaican high for everybody who lives on this fucked up thieving world. I don't know where to begin at. You know, I guess my last video it was uh, saying that somebody ripped off a pound. Well, the next day, somebody invites me to move to his house. And he says, hey, we'll take care of everything, Gringo. You just come here. We'll take care of you. Remember the seeds that I bought that I wanted to plant or give to a family? This guy, when I moved to this house, only been there a few days now. Every day he says, Hey Gringo, where's the seeds at? Gringo, where's the seeds at? And about two days gone by and he, you know, he didn't say nothing about the seeds. So I go look for my seeds today. Yeah. They're gone. I go look for my fork and knife set. It's gone. Bought a shitload of cookies and I turned my back. The cookies, they're gone. I just looked at these fuckheads and I said, you know what? Enough is enough. I don't want nothing to do with you guys no more. I'm leaving. So I gotta find another place to live at. Why they rip me off everything I have? Well, I'll take you around to Nottle Bay and I'll show you what this fucking hellhole looks like. I didn't tell you this. There's this one bar that I filmed in a video where everybody smokes marijuana and a guy sells weed. He tried to steal money from me. And I told him, you know, you owe me this change. And he threatened me with his life, my life, chopped me up, you bloody fucking white man. Well, luckily I had two brothers that were with me and really big guys and they said no you owe the white man five hundred and fifty dollars give it to him so the guy gives him money and says screams out loud you tell that white fucking white bloody clot to never come back here again or i'll kill him so that's life man in this rough world so uh <laughs> yeah let's go take a walk I'm gonna show you what a Noddle Bay's coast beachfront property looks like in a Noddle Bay okay you'll like it you'll enjoy this view Oh, you'll see a whole bunch of speakers. They're going to throw a party tonight, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to go there and just... and have the women bake me a beer for them.
Yeah, those seeds. Man. That was, that was a sore spot. That's just telling me to get the fuck away from these people. Oh, by the way, you know where I'm staying at? It's one of the ganja marijuana fields that I went to. In the first video, when the first video with the ganja, where the cops raided the place. Yeah, that place, alright? So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the one that took the seeds. He knew I had him. He just looked for him, took him, pretended like he didn't take him. Thought I would not notice him, but he lost a good friend. Fuck thieves. I know he took him. God damn, there's no other reason why somebody would take vegetable seeds. And he kept asking for him. Kept asking for him. Kept asking for him. Just looked at him. Because man, you you don't even need to call me a thief. I didn't take your goddamn seeds. Go look around, go look around, go see if you can find them somewhere. When he said that, nah, I'm just gonna go find me another place to live at. I'm not gonna bother looking. Yeah, he asked me to feed him and his child tonight. Hey, why don't you go uh, buy it, buy us some, some food so we can cook dinner tonight. Don't don't go into town and feed yourself. No, no feed us. You, you know, buy buy a bottle of rum for us so we can drink a bottle of rum tonight. And I looked down and said, no way. Well, there's the party. I'll come up here earlier or later on, should I say. Early in the afternoon. I gotta go back. Find out how much other shit's been stolen before. Because they know why I'm leaving. So they said, yeah, we might as well take everything the white man has. Which is good for me. True color shine in every which way in life. God, man, I'm just sick to my stomach. That knife and fork, you remember? They they didn't they didn't have they didn't take the spoon, okay? They just had the knife and fork. So I, uh, I think the kid wanted it. And I just said, you know what? I think your daddy has the knife, fork. And I think I'm just gonna put this motherfucker in my pocket. Nice place to relax at. All right, here we go. Beachfront property, Jamaica, Nautil Bay. You know, I was talking about building a resort. Man, I, I know if I try to build something, this is going to be stolen. Somebody will just watch me leave and they just come in, take everything and laugh. So sad, but so true. Feels weird, man. Not, not wanting to live where a place where you just got ripped off a whole bunch of things, and they pretend you're that they're your friend. Hey, feed me, drink me, wine me, dine me. But let me take everything you have while I'm doing it. I wasn't ever expecting those seeds to be stolen. That was the last thing I've ever thought that would fucking come up missing. Yeah, sad, sad life. 
sad life we all live in. Come here and try to make the best of everything in Jamaica. And you just find everything gone. Your marijuana gone. Your, your most prized valuables gone. Except that, you know, I'm shocked that they didn't take this camcorder, my camera, my laptop. I'm shocked, of course, I carry that with me all the time, but I left it there. They just took my marijuana. Okay, guys, here you go, each front of the property in Jamaica. And you wonder why I'm the only white boy walking on this beach. Some very, very, very poor people. Thanks, Queen of England, for keeping this place so poor. Are you proud of how you live your life? and how your slaves live their life. Are you proud of this, Queen of England? Are you proud of this United States government that turns the United States one day into like this? And be careful, everybody. They're gonna rob you blind. Are you proud of this, Queen of England? You know, it just, it's so sad. I think that's the nicest house here. Out of all this. People are living here. Yeah, I see this card on the main street all the time. He's gonna wake up one morning. Gonna go where? Where in the hell's my car at? Some poor guy we'll find it about ten days later walking along the beach. God bless you, man. I needed this. Well, I know this is probably one culture shock video for you. When I walk down today on that other side, because I've only been on this side. I haven't been up that way. I just went up there to see about where that party was at tonight. Yeah, it's a culture shock, all right. That's the reason why I stopped paying my taxes. I hope all of you do too. So sad.
Well, you've already seen the rest of it. I'll talk to you later, everyone, all right? All right I gotta go. Rastafari, the Manuel, send it to New York, England, never fear, I could have been one of the most sunshiny us that come to rain, to storm, to breeze, and it to blow with us, so around Blue Mountain Peak, I rise and see, believe the stream of a blur and bleak, I trickle, I flow to the hills below, send a life for under, I could have been one of the most Sunshine hills I come to rain, to storm, to breeze, and it to blow with us. That's the fire. That's the fire respect. Hey, well, where can they get your video at? Where you, you have songs? Yeah. Okay, tell them where you can go. Do you have a website? Don't have a website. No. What's your name so everybody knows? My name is Tommy. Tommy? My right name is Bramwell. Bramwell? All right, respect. Well, I owe you a beer. So you're going to see the beach. Yeah. All right, guys. Looks like I owe somebody a beer. So talk to you later. Yeah, man. One love. One love. Yeah. That's it.